Hey, it's Christian with Draw Trainer here again for you. Now, this uh, that I've got for you today is about changing all the colors in your document or within a particular object all at once in Corel Draw. This is an awesome feature. If you don't know how to use Find and Replace, this is going to help you out a lot, uh, especially for you screen printers when you're trying to get all the CMYK or RGB colors in the document to be spot colors and you're trying to assign a Pantone yellow instead of a, a process yellow, that sort of thing. If you have no idea what I'm talking about in that regard, don't worry about it. Excuse my phone ringing. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm not perfect. It's okay. Uh, we're back to it and we were talking about the uh, Spot, pro spot colors. And so for screen printers, it's really important to be able to select all those and change spot colors. Now, there's other ways you can do it, but this is a really cool way that always saved me a lot of time. So here we go. I'm going to go back over here and say we've got this design here. And if we look in here, um, we've got a bunch of RGB colors because this, let's say this was something somebody sent you, it was like a clip RD kind of thing, and you're making t shirts out of it, and they send you this uh, file that's not ready for a t-shirt at all even though they think it is because it's vector you still got to come in here and change all of these to spot colors because you can't print with these RGB colors or for that matter uh, well for or CMYK colors because unless you're printing a spot color uh, I mean a process color job you're not going to be able to to uh, output this into color separations and so that's important for screen printing alright so here is the cool tool so normally we've got this th whole thing grouped and let's say we want these fish to be um, you know whatever another color yellow um, then normally what we're gonna have to do a lot of people are gonna ungroup this and then they're gonna find oh gosh this one's group too and then you gotta ungroup that and then okay finally now I can come in here and start changing all my colors and, and doing whatever one I do alright so we don't have to do it that way probably a lot of you know that and uh, one tip that's really good for you is when you've got a group like this if you hold in the control key you can actually click on that and keep clicking down to the, the specific object and as you do it if you look down here in your uh, fill information on the bar you'll be able to see what object you're on so if there's multiple objects that are on top of each other you'll see that you'll be able to uh, get down there under them and now if, if you're trying to get under another object if you hold in alt also watch I'm clicking on the orange I've got that selected if I if I keep control in and click it again it's just gonna basically go back and forth to that orange but if I hold alt in and control I'm be able to hit the object under it so now it'll cycle through the layers and, and you'll see that changing down here orange object then the black object which is that main thing behind it so that's a couple of tricks there uh, that may help you just in general but this is going to really be a time saver when you've got a real complex object and say there's um, you know hundreds of little objects that are all blue and you need to change them all to a different color so don't even have to ungroup it we're going to go edit find and replace replace objects replace a color now you can also choose here apply to currently selected objects only and so that's what I was talking about where if you if you've only if you only want to change all the blue within this fish then you can check that little click mark we just talked about if you want to change the blue everywhere you just do it this way find and replace replace objects replace color do not click this uh, you can also choose to replace a whole model so you can you can just change the whole model to uh, a Pantone model or from RGB to CMYK all at once um, all your outline pen properties so if everything's got a hairline and you want it to have a 0.5 uh, in a red fill or you know magenta hairline or something like that as you're cutting so you can change all these things all at once all right so we've got everything selected we're telling it what color we want to find and all we're gonna do is click here the drop down we're going to check our uh, sampling tool come over here we're going to sample our RGB color and hopefully these are all the same RGB color and we want to just leave it applied to all of these most likely you can select whether you're going to change the fills that are this color or the outlines that are this color now I don't know I don't know of a way to uh, be able to do both of these at the same time unfortunately so if you have fills and outlines that are same color you actually have to go through this process twice for that object um, and just choose fills the first time outlines the second time or vice versa 
All right, now we want to replace this with a Pantone blue because we need a spot color because if we're going to screen print this and we want to be able to output the colors to separations, um, then that's what we need to do. So I'm just going to choose a random Pantone color uh, at 100%. Well, let's see. I, apparently I didn't choose it. Uh, let's use uh, 106. You can see we're using Pantone 106. Okay, now it's showing up, and I'm just going to click Finish. This little docker is going to pop up, pop up, and you can go Find Next, Find Next. Um, you can replace them individually like that. Find the next one, find the next one. I uh, just want to replace that. But typically, what you're going to do is just place uh, or click on Replace All, and then boom, they're all done like magic, and that saves you a ton of time. And so you could go through this sequentially and, and do that same process for each one of these colors, um, including your black, if you got a you know CMYK black or, or you know something like that that you need to replace. And that is going to save you a ton of time if you don't know about that feature. So I hope that helps you, uh, whether you're doing vinyl plotting or whatever you're doing. Um, it's, it's really useful to change a lot of colors uh, at one time. So there you go. And um, if you have any questions or comments about it, just comment down below the video and I'll get back to you and uh, we'll try to help you anyway.